Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're looking at another question relating to security and limiting data to specific departments. And there's no real prep for this question, so we're going to go ahead and jump right in. It says you have a Power BI model shown in the following exhibit. I have a departments table and we have a confidential data table. And we notice first off that the filter is occurring from departments to confidential data. So that's the relationship that's built on department ID. Once again, recognizing that these are the same in both of the tables. So therefore that is gonna be the key column or the relationship column that is going to define how this table departments is going to filter to the confidential data table. It says there are four departments in the departments table. You need to ensure that users can see the data of their respective department only. So that's a key here for this question. We need to make sure that if they're not in a specific department, they're not going to be able to see the confidential data that is over here in this other table. So it's asking what should we do? Option A says create a slicer that filters department based on department ID. Well, with a slicer, a slicer is going to allow you to see all the data, but allow you to filter down to specific department IDs. And so as far as the requirements that they can only see their respective department, this is not going to work because the slicer is just a visual report filter. It's not going to limit the data that they're going to be able to see. Option B says create row level security role for each department and then define that membership of the role. So this is definitely an option to take into consideration. Option C says create a department ID parameter to filter the department's table. So that parameter, while it, yes, it could filter down the department's table, we want to make sure that we are implementing security because once again, they can only see their respective department. And so while creating the department ID parameter would filter the table, it still does not secure the confidential data that we need. So they'll still be able to see data that they are not supposed to see. Option D says to the confidential data table, add a calculated measure that uses current group DAX function. So while this seems like a potential option because it has the name current group, it's going to return an entire table or a table with one or more columns. And so it takes no arguments and is only supported by aggregate functions like average, counts, max, min, sum, things of that nature. And so this is not actually going to limit the data as we need it to for the users to only see their respective departments. So the correct answer is going to be B, create row level security role for each department and then define the membership role inside of the Power BI service. I wanna thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.